Uh, let's go to this. So I, I saw one of those uh, bloggers out there. I think this is the big lead. Uh, finally, uh, America is coming to its senses. As I said yesterday, I was the first sportscaster that said four years ago, it ain't Richard Sherman. It's not the Legion of Doom. It's not Pete Carroll. It's not Marshawn Lynch. Russell Wilson is the game changer here. It took people a long time. And now in the last year, the rest of you, the Peter Kings, the the, the, the media, traditional media people are like, yeah, that, that guy's like wildly underrated. Yeah, it's my life. This is the burden of being brilliant. So the big lead pointed out something that I don't even give Carson Wentz credit for because I don't really, I don't think interceptions are that, I mean, nobody wants them, but I want my quarterback to let her rip. I, you know, Eli Manning throws picks. Um, Peyton Manning threw picks. Breeze has thrown picks. Matt Ryan throws picks. I, I'm not, Andrew Luck threw a bunch of picks. The bottom line, if you throw one a game in 29 attempts, I'm okay with it as long as you don't throw it, you know, deep in your own territory. It can be a punt on certain times. I don't think I don't think interceptions define the great quarterbacks. Namath, Bradshaw, Aikman, they all threw them. But they came up with this stat. Carson Wentz doesn't throw picks. In 2019, Wentz became the first quarterback in league history. History. To throw 20 or more touchdowns and seven or fewer picks in three straight re- seasons. It had never been done, even by Aaron Rodgers. And I say that because Aaron Rodgers is considered the quarterback who doesn't throw picks and is one of the only quarterbacks in the league that throws fewer picks than Carson Wentz. So let's use Aaron Rodgers as an example if you think Carson Wentz is overrated. Last three years, I take out the rookie year for quarterbacks. Wentz has Aaron beat in record, touchdowns, completion percentage, and passer rating. And Rodgers has better star receiver, better star running back. They both had offensive-minded coaches, so that to me is a wash. Here's the reality of quarterbacks, and this is the way we do it. There's four boxes you got to check. And if you don't get to that last one, we kind of roll our eyes. The four boxes are the talent box. Wentz has clearly checked it. Just, just watch him play. Watch him at the end of last year. Working with nothing, got him to the playoffs. There's the stats box. Well, he's done that. 81 touchdowns, 21 picks last, you know, three years. Uh, the winning box. Can you get your team to the playoffs? Last year's another example. Yes. And then there's a the Super Bowl box. And he hasn't checked that one. But outside of Mahomes... Tell me a guy playing in this league at quarterback four years or fewer who's checked all four. There's one. There's one. It's Patrick Mahomes. The talent, the stats, the lead to the playoffs, and the Super Bowl. That's it. No other quarterback last four years except Mahomes checks all. We like Lamar Jackson. Never won a playoff game. So, uh, you know, I like Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson with great receivers. Last year threw for 3,800 yards, 26 TDs. And I, and I like Watson. Wentz is better. I, I told you before, you guys can argue four through 20. Three quarterbacks today in the NFL lead my franchise. Mahomes one, Wilson two, Wentz three. You can argue over the rest. I think he's, uh, and, and again, just like Russell Wilson, you're going to come groveling back and to apologize to me. This is what's going to happen. This is what happened. You, you eventually apologized. You were so mean to me on Andrew Luck. And eventually everybody apologized, Russell Wilson. And you're just gonna, it's going to be about a year from now. And you're all going to apologize. You're going to feel terrible about it. You're not going to sleep at night. You're going to like, oh, Uncle Colin was right again. You know, this is, sometimes, you, you know, when you're ahead of everybody on stuff, this is, this is their, your reality. And I'm slowly convincing uh, Joy Taylor Carson Wentz mm. is great. Mm. Yeah. You're not really a lot of people aren't. I like one. Carson Wentz. I think like, he's very like, talented. Like. I like Carson Wentz. Well, Chris Rock, you like him or is he really funny? I mean, Chris Rock has quite a bit longer resume than Carson Wentz. If we're just like comparing professionally, I I just well, you, you like, is is he great or is he? He's great. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I'm not ready to call Carson Wentz great. That's uh, okay, right? I have to call Carson Wentz great right no, now. No, I'm saying. Your description is America's description. It is okay. You know what's okay? I didn't say he was okay. Here's I said what, he here's was good. Here's what's okay. Strawberry ice cream. That's okay. I happen to love strawberry ice cream. Well, most people don't. <laughs> no, I mean... No. I mean, I, that's true. Most people don't like strawberry ice cream. Actually, I like strawberry milkshakes more than strawberry ice cream. Do you like... There's a lot of okay. When you lump him into okay... I didn't say he was okay. I said he's good. I like him. I don't love him. So you don't consider him like Mercedes or Tesla or you don't consider him great. You consider him. I'm not even going to rip on a car dealer. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Car, you you like, think he's okay. Like I, I you think love he's a key optima, key optima. I love Russell Wilson. I love Lamar Jackson. I love Tom Brady still. 
Aaron Rodgers. Carson Wentz is better than Tom Brady today. Yes, he is. He's better than Drew Brees. You don't think so? I just I, can I see a little bit more before I fall Boy, in love? Can I? Just, can, can we just take how many, it slow? How many times do you have to see Chris Rock on stage? I think he's really talented. I think he's good. Dave Chappelle, great or good? I great beyond great. Okay, Legendary. So elite. Elite, yes, but like so. Uh, look, Carson Wentz is a is a good quarterback. Good. I, he earned my respect last good. year with what he was able to do. I had a corn dog. But for I dinner. also thought that the division was way down. There was not a lot of competition in that division last year. The Cowboys grossly underperformed. Good is a corn dog. Um, I haven't think corn dogs are disgusting. I haven't eaten a hot dog since I was like ten years old. Out of protest, uh, almost dogs. everything in life is good. The goods everywhere. He also he's also been injured, which I which I don't oh, love. She, she sprained an ankle once. <laughs> sprained, Guy sprains an ankle, he's, he's judged an for ankle. life. But I'm not everybody... judging him. I'm just I'm Wait. just saying I I think he is good. Okay, so let's go to the NBA. I, how Nick described him is 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 perfect. Okay. I would put him in that in that category okay. with with Dak with. So Matt now Ryan. you're siding with Nick. Is Clint Capella is a good NBA player? You're saying Carson Wentz is Clint Capella. Can, there's a spectrum. It doesn't like just because you, you can be at the high end of a spectrum or a low end of a spectrum and still be in a different category. If you're you're a Yankee fan, Goulet, who's the outfielder? Brett, what's his name for the Yankees? Gardner. He's Brett Gardner. He's a good He's player. Good. So Carson Wentz is He's at the high end of the good oh, quarterbacks. So, high, so give me a high end good baseball player. Why is this so offensive? He's great. He's really good. <laughs> now you've moved off good. <laughs> because there can be a so you, spectrum. It doesn't have to be like this or that. I just think that there, when you go into the top tier next level, I think he is good. I think I need to see, I need to see consistency with his, his body, first of all. All right. And then, good. you know, good. Win, wins, wins some playoff games. Yeah. Corn dog. Brett Hudler. What's his name again? Gardner. Gardner. Brett Gardner. <laughs> How, what, what's Brett Gardner's batting average against great pitchers, by the way? He, he beats up on average pitchers. What's, what's he hit? I bet you he hits 215 against great pitchers. I don't know that they have a stat for against great pitchers. They should. Or good pitchers. In Once this again, argument. this light never I mean, you can't admit that the division was down last year, well, right? Uh, you know. The Giants in, in Washington were well, disaster. Wait, what did he, did he, the Cowboys underperformed. And that doesn't take away from what he was able to do with the massive good. amount of injuries that he had. And he's, you know, you know, you're, you're right. He's just good. He's, he's, a, he's, he's just really a good. Corn dog and cleats. He's just just good. I, I had a steak last night. Great. That was Carson Wentz. <laughs> well, he's good. He's, I mean, when you dig in on the quarterback, though, you can't be moved. You know, he's, he's mac and cheese. That's good. Mac and cheese is one of the best foods on earth. All right. Do you know a lot of people who don't like mac and cheese? My son. Okay, well. <laughs> well, you asked me. I'm just giving you an answer. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.